Fire. Here we have a 2014 Yamaha YZF R125. This bike is HPI clear, so it's never been categorized by the insurance or been involved in a major crash. I'm going to show you around this bike on the good and bad points about it. Starting you off, it's got standard indicators on the rear, pillion seat and foot pegs. Uh, rear mud guard is in good condition. Chain sprocket has plenty of life left on it. Rear tire has plenty of tread. RMG tail tidy. Brake disc and brake pads are in good condition on the rear. Full standard exhaust system. Gear selector, uh, gear selector, the rear brake is nice and straight. Uh, bar ends are standard, standard grips and levers. Aftermarket wings on either side. It's also got always on LED sequential indicators on either side here. Standard side lights, standard side uh, low beam and high beam. A couple little scratches on this fairing here, and just there there but generally nothing um, horrendous or that could be touched up and made look nice again there's all stuff that is just light little scratches nothing major no cracks or anything this side looks very clean it's got some paint wear and tear on the um, on the levers Forks are nice and clean, and the silver upside down forks. Engine runs really smooth. Um, front tire is in excellent condition, same with the brake disc and pads on the front. Like I said, engine runs smooth, as you've seen, it runs really well. Gearbox is smooth, the clutch has a really good biting point. It's currently on 17,000 miles. Currently on the dash, there is a check engine light. Um, which is most commonly for low battery. Like when this came in, it, the battery was pretty much flat and um, had to be charged up. And obviously it's got code on the dash. So we are pretty sure it's just the, uh, I'd like to say that the voltage is low on the battery. So that will be taken off for you when you either collect or have the bike delivered. It's got a tinted front screen with an L plate stuck to it. So if we remove that, it's going to put a lot of sticky residue everywhere. But generally this bike is in really good condition. It's got a couple of little marks on this side. Nothing major at all. Everything's in good nick. This bike's been well looked after. The alloys are decent, they're very clean. Underneath it is immaculate. Black rear shocks. Generally, I cannot fault this bike. Uh, one thing I will say is uh, the fuel cap is just a twist off, it's not locked. So um, if you want to get a new one, they are cheap to find online. And I should also mention the seat lock. You have to use a flat-headed screwdriver to just twist it and it will unlock. But as it is, it's locked, it's secure, it will not come off. Um, ignition does have two keys. And the steering lock does work, which is nice. A lot of times you see they're not working. Rear arm is in good condition. Generally, overall, this bike is in really good nick. Cannot fault it. It's a lovely bike. It's a non-ABS model, so there's less things to go wrong. But that will be everything for this 2014 Yamaha YZF R125. Thank you. Thank you.